Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to start out by telling you guys about what products I'm going to be using for a tater tot in the bath today. We have this odor cleanse. This was sent to us by odor cleanse, but it is not sponsored. It works really well to just remove smell and not mask it. And then we have this Births Bees, which I'm not using today, but I wanted to show you guys um, what we use for the other dogs and what we use for out of the odor cleanse. And that's this Births Bees one that we like a lot. And then we also use this little, um, we find it at, on an end cap in Walmart in the pet section and you just use it to scrub in the soap and that's basically what we use it for is just to use it to make sure the soap's all scrubbed in and really get in there with it. The last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is this peanut butter which sounds odd you'll see how we use it here in a minute but we use this peanut butter and a little tiny spatula to kind of uh, make the bath more enjoyable for tater tot. I also have a towel under Sean's feet and two more in the dryer warming up so that he can have a warm towel when he gets out and a hair dryer to blow dry him. And I'm pretty sure that's all we're gonna be using. So let's go ahead and get started. So we just take the peanut butter and the spatula and we just kind of rub a little bit on the wall um, and just kind of not super thin, not super thick either. It just helps him to distract him while he's in the bath and makes him behave a little bit better and just kind of makes the whole experience more enjoyable for him and us. So we're just going to stick Terra Tot in the bath here and start getting him wet. We recently went ahead, we knew we wanted one, we recently went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought this little um, detachable shower head um, that you can with the hose and we absolutely love it. It was like $35 at Walmart and we bought one of the nicer ones that they had there because I wanted it to have that frosted metal look. Um, but it makes it so much easier to do all of this. I just can't even explain how much easier it is with it. And you want to make sure the water temperature isn't hot and isn't cold either. I kind of, the way I think of it is um, like a kid's bath temperature or something like that. That's about the temperature that you want it to be at. The next step is the soap. So we just shake it up and then start putting it down his back and kind of just where wherever we need to put it. And um, then we go from there and just start scrubbing it in and working it in. And if we feel like we need a little bit more in a certain spot, then we add a little bit more there and just kind of go that way. You wanna make sure that you get um, behind their ears really well. At least Tater Tot likes to roll outside and some pretty nasty stuff and so it always gets back right there behind his ears on his neck so you want to make sure you get like those places kind of well but try to avoid getting the soap into his ears or past that kind of point if you if we need to wash his head or his face we usually use baby wipes after the bath we don't do that in the bath um, and so you want to get right there really well down his back, you want to make sure you get in his legs, under his um, arms, his tail, his um, butt, his unmentionable parts, all that kind of stuff. You want to make sure that um, you, just like if you were cleaning yourself, there's not really a place that you would skip. The only place you want to skip is from his ears to his face. Um, and then if he has something there, we like to use a baby wipe afterwards. Usually at this point he's just about finished with his peanut butter and we need to wash the other side of him. So we add some peanut butter to the other side of the bath and kind of turn him around and that gives us a chance to really make sure that we get his other side really well and clean too. he's all clean we've got soap everywhere and everything is good to go so now comes the rinsing you want to make sure that you rinse really thoroughly um, if you leave soap left over on your dog it can make them dry out and it should just make them really uncomfortable so you want to make sure that you are actually really removing every last little bit of the soap so what Sean likes to do is turn the little sprayer onto a more pressure level um, to make sure that he's really getting in his fur especially a dog like Tater Tot who is a water dog their hair can be really dense and hard to get into and almost repel the water so you want to make sure that you're getting through that and actually cleaning it and getting all the soap off. 
Some places the soap might like to hide could be places like on his chest, under his tail, um, under his arms especially, kind of up close to his face behind his ears. Um, at the base of his tail the hair gets really thick so places like that you want to make sure that you're really getting in there and making sure that it is completely rinsed. I ran to the laundry room and grabbed the hot towels so these towels are nice and warm. Sean was holding it up to see if he wanted to shake off really quick and not get everyone really wet but what we like to do with the hot towels is almost just wrap them around him. I feel like because they're hot that it kind of helps dry him and stuff like that that we don't need to do much rubbing at first. At first we just like to kind of wrap him really tightly in it and then <laughs> there he goes shaking and kind of rub them while they're wrapped around him. That seems to be what works well and then we'll kind of start rubbing it and then we'll blow dry. The very last step is to blow dry him. This is the blow dryer that Sean got me for Christmas and I like it because it has the cool setting. So what we like to do is kind of switch back and forth between the cool and the warm and we just keep the hair dry, dryer moving so that we don't um, burn him or anything like that. I always like to imagine that he his skin is gonna be more sensitive than my skin so I wanna be very careful not to um, make it too hot to make him uncomfortable or anything like that. But we like to do this, this isn't necessary, but we like to do it because as soon as he leaves this bathroom, he's gonna run to our couch and start rolling on it. So the drier that he is when that happens, the better off our couch is. So we just like to give him a really quick um, blow dry to the places where his hair is really dense and where he's kind of the most wet, just to kind of help the drying process go a little bit faster. But this is the last thing that we're doing today, guys, and I hope y'all have a blessed day. I hope that if you got a new dog, um, and you were wondering kind of what the process is or something like that and caring for a dog. I hope this helped you out um, and I hope you guys have a great blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.